Okay. Welcome to Bloom in Full Color, where we live life in high definition. It seems to be what I'm sticking with. I'm Good. Not, I like it. It's yeah, a nice I'm catchphrase. Just, I'm just going. Yeah. Um, okay. With me today, I've got PJ McGuire and Rhonda. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. So our topic today, oh, and I'm Jennifer Moss. I should probably say that. I just kind of assume people know me at this if point. If they're watching, they probably know. Although maybe yeah, it was the first time. You never know. You never know. Somebody in listeners. Ethiopia stumbled across it and <laughs> want to know how to do Easter in Idaho. You never know. If Moss Greenhouse is in Ethiopia on their entertainment but we're doing great. There you so, go. True story. I, I will say, uh, demographic wise, there are some people in Spain that I assume are your relatives. Uh, yes, very much so. <laughs> yes, yes. I, so, I happen to know a few folks in northern Spain. There's some uh, Australian. There's some Spain. Okay, stuff. we're gonna have to talk through this. This is our producer behind the scenes. If anybody, <laughs> I, I yeah, know. Zach's with us. All right. So today we're actually talking about Easter preparation. So I, I do want to qualify something. We are not going to touch on the religion. And the reason for that is it is the century of the offended, and we will say something incorrectly. <laughs> that is not worth the headache that it's going to cause later. However, what we will honor is that it is a family gathering, typically. Absolutely. Or you are doing an unconventional th- Easter, and you're doing whatever the hell. It's a flowery yeah, whatever type the, holiday. Yeah, see, Light flowers are a exactly, part of it, or a big exactly. component. Colorful. So I, Colorful, yes. Yeah, lots of I, colors. I look like a human Easter egg today. <laughs> I got this scarf when we were down in uh, Arizona seeing family. Very so, colorful. Yeah, this guy. You know, when you're at one of those little, you know, fairs or art shows or whatever and they're, they're just aggressively getting you he totally nailed Did it he? and i was like well there's like a rainbow color he one. saw the stones he's I like know, i got I this know. hippie I, chick watch this I, I, yeah, i'm gonna I throw must, some patchouli I, her way i'm gonna burn some incense yeah i definitely am a sucker for anything super <laughs> colorful you know i used to wear all black all oh. the time so I had to yell at my wife at one point. I'm like, we are not going to funerals. I want to see some color. I get it. It's safe and it's easy, but color. It and is you, also you nice slimming. It's slimming, too. It is. Black it is. is slimming. And we're honoring Ice Nine Kills because that is Rhonda's favorite band. And they're and coming so. up. When are they yes, coming? Yes, they are. They're coming in July. Oh, yeah. a long yeah. time. You already got your tickets, right? Oh, VIP'd up. Yes. You're good to yeah. go. Yes, okay. hotel room, Uber, the okay. whole thing. There. Yeah, we're <laughs> just taking care. <laughs> good for you. Matt, you feel free to go back to our old episode about how you fill your cup right <laughs> zach and i talked about this concerts is a big thing and Rhonda and i are down on that and on if that you don't level. or haven't seen that or one PJ jennifer's I... idea is if she's having a crap day she buys concert tickets yep. so at the end of the season she can figure out how many crap days she has because she's got i have 13 shows to go yeah. to in the next four months <laughs> usually what happens is 12 to 15 shows yeah. and my husband and I are going what a great plan though what yeah, a great way to pull you out of so, a shitty day. This could, yeah, well, it gives you something to look forward uh, to. No, the mm-hmm. whole thing sounds so cool. So we actually have a family-like thing of, you know, a lot of people look forward to Easter. So this is another one of those. Look, You need something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. So um, we like to, when we're in the thick of things, we'll start planning a trip just to get your mind off things. Very smart. Yeah, and if you can't afford that, like, okay, what am I going to do to create a space that I look forward to going to and create a habit around that? So those, are, again, past episodes, go sift through. Are, right, right. That we talk about all those. There's other kernels episodes. out there. Go find them. <laughs> okay, so what do you think when you think Easter, Rhonda? Oh, uh, my mother making me go find Easter eggs, even though I'm almost fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really so last water week didn't when your come mom out was... my nose when you <laughs> said that. <laughs> I had not thought that that was a thing. Is she mobile enough to do that? She. She's still, she has a walker. Okay. So we have for years since we were little kids had these little plastic Easter eggs and she will get all of her change and she'll change. Put, that's, change. that's what Not I give candy. my 50 year old. There's a candy. couple of nickels and a, and a dime. <laughs> yep. Okay. And she'll hide them around the living room and she'll make okay. me go find them. To be fair, mom is 88. 87. 87. Okay. Yes. I yes. do an extra year on just for good measure. Yeah. Okay. 87. <laughs> That's legit. And apparently she still think Rhonda is like four or yes. 14, yes. something you know. like that. She loves it, so I'll all play along. <laughs> what a good girl. What a good daughter. Okay, that's that's also another trade-off we make in the holidays. Yes, yeah, true that. <laughs> Some people drink to tolerate their family. Yeah. Others <laughs> humor their 87-year-old mother and find the plastic Easter eggs with pennies Dimes in them. <laughs> oh, God. I can get that open-heart surgery I need. Yay! <laughs> that is hilarious. That's awesome. Okay, what else do you think about? Oh, color. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lots color. of color. First thing I think, pastels. 
Like, I know. You're, you're colorful. I'm colorful. Not quite pastel enough. It's not the enough. Easter. No. no. It's very, very I was just very thinking that. Tone. As soon as you both said color, I was like, a little pastel. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not my favorite color palette no. either. It is not. It's, but it absolutely it goes has, with that holiday. It has a fit. Yeah. It does. It, it really does. It, this is the time of year to me if lilies and some of the early bulbs and those and are a lot of pastelies. Yes, but they're the uh-huh. very mute, you know the what I mean? The muted pinks. Yes. Yes. The, yes. The, the light baby blues, mm-hmm. the the whatever um oh what would be the right green? Sage green? Oh yeah, yeah that's soft. Yeah, yeah. soft Real, green. Not yeah. St. Patrick's Mint. Day green. No. Holy no. bejeebies no, at the no, store no, this we'll morning. It's almost time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Almost time. It's two days Corn till, till VJ's <laughs> national holiday. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we are filming this way before Easter. Oh, PS right. for those folks. I'm, I'm ruining the uh, <laughs> do Do not apologize. We're just gonna have to figure <laughs> this out. <laughs> Easter to me at our house, all we really do is just have a meal. And we don't care if it's breakfast or a late lunch or something like that. And I always make a carrot cake. <laughs> Probably not this year. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to be eating that yeah, cake. Yeah, huh? it just won't work oh. that way. So, no, I, I could probably figure out some kind of a, a, a substitute. Right, that so, the fam will like that yeah, you don't care so Well, much I just about. love the carrot cake because it's got, you know, it's got the carrots and it's got the pecans and it's got the pineapple and it's got uh, yeah well i don't tend to put raisins raisins? interesting i do dried cherries yum also dried fruit it's like dried retarded grapes like i don't understand the point of raisins like (laughs) just give me wine that sounds like a way better idea it's at least broken down and fermented i am not against that yeah Yeah. (laughs) raisins are like yeah they're like the rejected fruit it's like you know in the in the mixed nut bowl and all that's left is the brazil nuts and that kind of shit like that's raisins. The leftover. I like, got it. And here's sense. the thing. I can eat raisins. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. But like if I put raisins in anything in this office. Oh, they all, no, you, no, you, no. you hear a little pushback, no, do you? No, no. Just a little. Well, if, if she gets given raisins or something, she'll bring all the boxes to me and be like, do something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All off, right. I'll put this head. <laughs> That's yeah. I once put mangoes in the guacamole when I came here. Oh. Oh, Although a mango I, salsa, I was, almost, I was almost voted off the island. Although a mango salsa is a weird, I and delicious freaking, love freaking thing. Mangoes, oh. I like, and I was buying the Costco container. I had to use the mangoes. And Rick Bayless from Mexico, one plate at a time, who was the keynote speaker at the IGC show in Chicago back in fourteen. That I was so excited to get my cookbook signed by the guy Rick Bayless. I made like three or four of his guacamoles from his cookbook, and I, I yeah, I almost got voted off the island. Very funny. Like white I'd, people can't I'd, handle I'll, a change in their. Do not mess with something yeah. perfect, I believe. Quote, unquote, is what Tammy said to me. <laughs> I, and I was like, it. okay. And then it was a joke for like a year. Does it have mangoes in it? Because then I started putting mangoes in banana bread, like all sorts of things just to be a pest. Just to torture them? Yeah. As it should Absolutely. be. Absolutely. As it should be. Why do you think I do things? For my own entertainment. <laughs> okay. See, mangoes, very okay, so Easter-y. Speaking of right color, inter- very entertainment, yes, get there. yourself a morning cocktail on those nice cold Easter mornings when you have stepchildren that you're like, why am I out here with a mass of 400 people willingly and my free time on my day off? Um, Watch children try to find Easter eggs and fight over them. Fastly entertaining. (laughs) I I have a different sense of humor and I'm okay with that. (laughs) Um, It's kind of like we're building uh, the ladies night out uh, amazing race. For those who are listening to this now, hopefully Ladies Night has already happened and you've already made a fool of yourself. I hope (laughs) we're going to find funny TikTok trends and have the ladies do those. (laughs) <laughs> for, for my entertainment night. for jennifer's entertainment that's awesome. for david i said entertainment you you're all welcome. oh i'm sure yeah, you're, great. you're gonna have a roaming mic oh yes pj is our mc so. oh yes yeah are it's you gonna, gonna make be... sure they've had plenty of uh, oh yeah it'll be an hour in. Oh, it'll be an hour in. nobody needs to make sure that's happened it, it seems well, to, yes. that it happens quite organically it appears uh, to me anyway it, it, True. I, I love <laughs> the camaraderie though the well, the ladies don't get scared. They get out of their comfort zone. They do things that they wouldn't normally do because they're in a greenhouse. They're in a different environment. I mean, you know, if you were in a convention that sells center out or something, in an hour is a, oh, is a huge hit now. I'm just telling you. From a guy who tried to sell things out and never could, <laughs> two, two hours selling out in, in an hour or two yeah, is crazy two impressive. Two hours and 37 minutes last year. Crazy impressive. Yeah. Well, it's just like any Easter egg hunt you go to. How many? It's like how many bazillion kids are here? Like, oh dear God! And yeah, you know which thing. ones are the good ones? 
It's a thing. Oh, there's do you? Oh, yeah. So no, there's like a whole community of ladies in, in the Magic Valley. They all get these Facebook things. They're like, okay, we're gonna do this one, and they're going. It's like it's like an info, like an inf, uh, uh, like a military strike. So are you saying like- <laughs> nobody would show up to the one where they put like pennies and nickels and plastic well, eggs? You don't think that would I get like? I, I, I think yeah. I think you I think you get the first year. Mom's and not listening then, to this. You don't have to be nice yeah. to her. <laughs> I think you get the first year. She don't know how to use a podcast. I'm sorry. And then after that, I don't know. Yeah. So if, if the way I figure it, if you did an adult Easter egg hunt and like in the middle of every one of them was like a one shot thing or a jello shot shoved into an egg or something. Do Wait you see, a minute. Do you see where Wait I'm headed? Wait a minute. Suddenly I, I have wanna... seen adult Easter egg stuff. I have seen adult pinatas and have built them. But you're giving me an idea because I yeah. can think of all kinds of um, non-podcast specific items that we could put oh, in Easter absolutely. eggs to get adults so, formed up for it. Oh, so hold yeah. on. This, so, I, I've almost of, changed my mind over this <laughs> Now that you mentioned that, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> an Easter egg hunt PG would come okay. to. Let's, let's re re, re yes. here. Yes. <laughs> okay. You're having 12 people over for dinner. Okay. Decorations. What do you do? Flowers. I think so too. Yeah. A lot of people don't though. They go get the plastic painted nonsense from Hobby Lobby, also guilty. Um, or Michaels, wherever you go. Um, but I think that doing a fresh center with either fresh flowers or a potted plant or an Easter lily, whatever fits for you and your budget and your it's ability your to care for it. Because don't buy something expensive if you're just going to let it die. That's called poinsettia cedos, and <laughs> don't do that. I, I, I'm a poinsettia hater. Seems to be a theme today. <laughs> All the plants I don't like, I'm going to talk about. <laughs> I'm going to pick on them. There's somebody over in South Carolina who I used to be on a board with that is cringing listening to this right now. Sorry, so they make their entire living on no, poinsettias. He, like, she's banging them. I'm she, it, yeah, no, he actually teaches students to grow them, and he's always in his back shot. And we'd be on Zoom calls, and I'm like, cool poinsettias, Daniel. And he's like, <laughs> are those caladiums behind you? I'm like, boy, howdy, they're a better plant. <laughs> they're way more expensive. Don't worry. But yeah, so. So as far as flowers goes, so, you know, t- the weather is just like a fart in the skillet. You never know what Easter weather is going to be, right? It could be beautiful. It could be absolutely terrible. You could be drenched. You could There could be snow. There could be 50 mile an hour winds. Oh, that could, could happen on the same day. It exactly. could all happen in the same hour yeah. in Idaho. It's 9 p.m., so, 12 p.m., uh, 4 p.m. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> And that's why you got to have like 17 jackets in the back of your mm-hmm. car at any given time. You don't clear them out until July, maybe August. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then you need them back in September. So you get about one month with a clear car. Right. <laughs> Give or take. <laughs> so, not lying. Uh, yeah, no. How many extra clothes you got? Oh, my hiding? God. One whole seat is nothing but clothes in my car. That's the truth. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a, like, what coats do I have in the back? All right. I got two towels, six blankets. I got a rug. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm <laughs> sad. <laughs> I do. I have a rug in the back right now. Two crock pots, too. Uh, Turns out. I can feed you and... And make sure that you got a camp spot soon. <laughs> so if you get stuck on the highway in a blizzard, just find Jennifer Moss. And she, you'll you'll, you'll stay alive. You'll stay alive. You'll stay alive. I might not have any water. Yeah. <laughs> we might have to worry about that, but that's that's pretty solvable. So um, if if the weather's nice, do you eat outside? I'm gonna say no because it, really? it depends on the time. Well, I guess it, depends. it depends on the time of the day. So it's on April 9th this year. So it's still into April. It's still potential is that a Sunday. Still, yep. It's still, it's still what, what other day? I don't, day know, is I don't know. I, I swear to, I'm so out of Easter. <laughs> oh, I don't you know. are I so focused on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, you do right. not care. <laughs> <laughs> that is in two days, sir. Right. It's always Sunday. Yeah, it's Easter always is always Sunday. on Sunday. Always okay. And what is it? Forty days before Ash Wednesday. You're right. Well, I don't know. It's, I don't it's know the, the facts. first Sunday after the spring equinox, after the first full moon. Yeah. I need a flow chart. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Good job on your facts. It I did not know that. Yeah. I, I, the again, because uh, we talked about the religious component, yeah. but if you get a little deeper, almost all of this comes from us heathens. Where it, comes it was back either to a pagan. spring celebration. That's what I'm it's, saying. It pagans, goes back to the pagans. Oh, right? It was way yeah. before Christianity because it was either a solstice or a, a, yeah. or a harvest. It's or based a, around the moon cycles. Yeah, and absolutely. All that so yeah, if always. you go you know, a little past re- the current religions, it's almost always rooted in uh, something yeah. moon I, rock yeah. bracelet kind. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to go. But, uh, my husband's Shamans. technical term is your voodoo shit. Your voodoo yeah, shit. Okay, like, very nice. I was like, All no, that's a totally different religion and he just looks at me and gets <laughs> 
Hey, don't mess with me. I'll show you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're going to go to New Orleans. Uh-huh. We're going to find a witch, you know, like a healer. Or start a licking a needle. Woman. Just yeah. heads up. Get a little dog. <laughs> <laughs> I start pulling your hair out. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> it's not like my husband's bald now, mind you. And he's got a beard. So it, it, he would, get no- he would it. notice it. Uh-huh. Well, he, he sheds enough. Because he's hairy from the ears down. <laughs> yeah. it's nothing grows up ears, top, no. but ears. It starts at the ears. The ears yeah, in go. the ears, yes, yes. From the top of the, <laughs> the ear ears down. Go. Yes. That's right. <laughs> and going to the furry things, Easter bunnies are a thing. All right. They are. I have they been are. a resident Easter bunny here before. Um, we have definitely had Easter bunny at, at ladies' night because yes. I have seen the person um, driving people to the cars, I do believe. In an Easter bunny outfit? Yes. Wasn't a CJ in an Easter bunny outfit? No, wasn't he a penguin? He was a penguin, he but I. A, but before the penguin, don't you don't you have an Easter bunny yeah, outfit? We, we own it. I think he was in an Easter this, bunny so the, outfit. What this one came year. down to is, I was trying to get an Easter bunny outfit from the local costume shop, who who are awesome, and uh, I was trying to call ahead, and I forgot what week it was in October. Because I'm a dingy. Because <laughs> you're at Halloween, you're calling the costumes. Up. They're not busy at all. Yeah, like she's just like shut up. Sure. Bye. Like <laughs> I got stuff for your Mother's Day. Sure. Hey, bye. Like, yeah, duh. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, it's going to cost me hundred dollars to rent this. What does that cost on Amazon? How many people wore the one at Poindexter? Oh. Mm. And this was pre-COVID, mind you. And so, hundred and four dollars later, we get it. I can't find the box when it gets here. And I'm like, there, I got confirmation of delivery. Like, where the hell is this thing? I walk into Dave and Dewey's office. Dave's wearing the head and Dewey's wearing the suit. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. guys. Yeah, you were this day. scared the crap out of me with that thing. <laughs> I left to go check the mails when I was doing the HR thing. And I come back and there is somebody sitting at my desk with a bunny head on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, with your head. He yeah. was wearing a flannel shirt as well, so I knew who it was. But... A lumberjack buddy. Yeah. And dressing. <laughs> Dev- or the brawny paper Dev- towel guy on. Well, and I always like to, the week of Easter, somebody puts on the suit and goes and runs through the greenhouses because uh-huh. you can't tell who's in the suit. <laughs> right. <laughs> and just mess yeah. with people and they have the camera follow you and you're doing funny poses out with it, like diving into the pansies, like running off with tulips. Like... That's funny. <laughs> yeah, you got to be a funny Easter that buddy. Is funny. I mean, I don't see the um, Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, and uh, they've got to have a little bit of humor. Well, yeah. I mean, you're dealing with children. You right. have to have humor to deal with children, or your sanity is forfeited at the door. <laughs> accurate? Yes. Very yes. accurate. Yes, accurate. The two women who did not naturally have children of any kind. <laughs> oh, smart. Is all, yeah. I heard you, all I heard you say is smart. <laughs> and... Could have saw those mothers out there. Yeah, well, uh, somebody's got to yeah, have them. Well, too. and I did the other thing. I married into children, so I, I got my karma. Insta full family. Circle, Adwater full Stir. Circle, full circle. <laughs> uh, my mother thinks it's hilarious, and I have all. Uh, we were looking through pictures the other day, the girls and I, of uh, like the evolution of Easter egg hunts that I've had to do. And now they're just like, we don't need an Easter egg hunt. I was like, oh, yeah, your girls are way too old like, for that now. Yeah, yeah. I have twelve year olds. They, yeah. I was just like, are you kidding? They it's look like 47, by the way. They're 12 they're, now. It's because they're taller than me. <laughs> Jiminy, they put on some size in the last five minutes. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Who are the two new hires with her? Oh, crap, those are kids. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so yeah they got big. Jeez, Jiminy. Jeez. Yeah, so if you're going to have people outside, as we circle back to the main points, I hope you we guys wander. like how, how much we're, we're random and all over the place. But um, <laughs> there's plenty of plants you can put in the ground now. Oh, absolutely. That have color on it. And you don't have to do a lot. Well, you just got to do a little bit. And if you're thinking ahead, you could plant them in the fall. Our early season pansy alyssum baskets are, are magnificent. Awesome. awesome. And they do unbelievably well in the cold. You would yeah. not think you could take something that pretty and just pop it outside in March. It is it's gonna super be happy. It's going to be fine. Super happy. Be gorgeous for Easter. You yeah. can start getting them at any time in the next couple of weeks. Gorgeous for Easster. Yeah, they're already ready. True they're story. And impressing people because you would never think as cold as it's still. I mean, we're 21s and 40s or something for yeah. our eyes and nose. Mm-hmm. These things go right outside. They hang out. They look marvelous. Yeah. Impressive. And then you've got the stock, the Sanetis. You've got all the perennials that are early bloomers. You've got so many different things. And on top of that, all the bulbs that you yeah. should have planted last fall because you're yes. on your game. Okay. You weren't we sitting should, around waiting for we spring. We should probably talk about that. All right. <laughs> if you see bulbs that are starting to come up now, it's too late. I'll just say it. I'm going to break your hearts now. If you plant tulips now, you're not going to get tulips. Correct. If you plant hyacinth now, you're not going to get hyacinth. If you plant dahlias now, if the, the ground is thawed enough, you will see those in the summer. 
if you, you there's plenty of other things but when you see the bulbs it's too late <laughs> Yeah. Am I saying that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're planning ahead to mm-hmm. plant this fall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so mark your calendar. October, go look for tulip bulbs. Or if you really just want a dose, go down to Thanksgiving Point to the Tulip Festival. What, and that is a great idea. One, the, the the sale of those tulips is ridiculously reasonable. Cheap. Like it's the okay, least so th- expensive. Let's start with Thanksgiving Point is in Lehigh. Le- or, yep. It's Lehigh Draper area, Lehigh. South Utah. of Salt Lake City, right yep, at the just, point of the mountain. Yep. You're really close to the aquarium and it's part of, it's called Ashton Gardens. It's part of the Thanksgiving Point um, property. They've got children's museums. They It's a 55, 58 acre, something like that, garden. And we actually work with them and do all their seed annuals and some of their perennials. So we do one truck in the spring, one truck in the fall. They work with another Utah grower that does a great job for them, does all their vegetative stuff. And then uh, Esther, who plans all their gardens, she actually orders all these bulbs in from the Dutch where the tulip really started. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, have you guys ever read uh, The Botany of Desire by Michael Pollan? No. Okay. He talks about four of the most important plants that have ever hit the planet. Right, that had the most effect, like from an economic level, from um, a cultural level, you name it. So it's uh, potatoes, apples, cannabis, and tulips. Okay, the tulips never put those four together. Potatoes and cannabis, I get. Potatoes almost put the entire Irish population to death. Right, right? potato blight, cannabis. It's also one of the most ubiquitous things on the planet. Every every culture grows potatoes. Every culture, right? Somewhere or another, and then the apple actually developed all fruit trees because if you take an apple now you grow that seed that plant is not going to grow into the same apple you have to actually take a branch from the the tree that grew from and uh graft it correct to the original seed stock or or the original sapling and johnny appleseed figured this out and he would take his saplings down on his little like log boat down the river and drop off little saplings to people and that was the whole johnny appleseed thing um, and then he talks about the tulip and there was a disease. Um, it was a genetic disease in the bulb that would create a bicolored striped or a bicolored tulip. Those tulips were so valuable. They cost more than a house and it was literally a genetic disease in the, in the genome of the plant. Huh. Yeah, crazy. I bet you that's right? what pressed scientists to continue going oh, absolutely. down the road because well, that was so valuable, right? Money you, drives all science. Everything. Right? Everything. So inter- that's fascinating. That's why there's so many solutions to male health problems and not females. Right. Different no podcast. Money. Sorry. Um, <laughs> different that's a Christmas podcast. podcast. <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> oh, gender bias is a thing. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, Apple, you know what's, yeah, Apple, you know, we've lost a ton of genetic diversity oh, yeah. in our world, right? We're, we're losing all these varieties and these cultivars literally by the minute, right? Yes. But apples are still, to this day, they say there are still so many apple varieties on this planet. You could have a different apple every day the rest of your life, and you would still not run out of apples. They wouldn't be in season, though. And no, they no, no, taste no doubt. Good. <laughs> no doubt. You're talking different stuff. <laughs> yeah. But it, but th- that's fascinating, considering how much we've lost, right? You know the seed bank in, in where is it? Uh, uh, mm, New, uh, yeah, it was like Iceland Europe, or Europe. No, it's not Europe. Mm, no, no, not. no. It's Iceland or uh, it's the World Seed Bank. They dug a cave into a mountain in like Iceland okay. because it's the perfect temperature and they've put hundreds oh, of thousands of seeds. I didn't to tr- know that. Oh, 100% because they're trying to save. We are losing genetic diversity by the minute. Part of it is factory farms, right? All of the food that we eat is not grown because it's food. It's grown because it's easy to produce. It's It transports mm-hmm. well. It stays on a you know, supermarket so- counter for long enough. But we've lost all the cool stuff that our grandparents ate, right? So somebody is trying to save so it. So I, I think I talked about this on a podcast, I think, with you and I. There um, there was a Chef's Table is the show. There's a gentleman with a place out in New York. It's this restaurant, and he works a lot with Farm to Table, right? And he was working with a seed breeder, and he was trying to get his egg yolks red. And so chick- chickens and birds can't taste spice. Right. So they were feeding them hot red peppers. I remember this. Oh, so, and it was turning the yolks red. And he was actually, and then he was doing sweet bell peppers with a higher pigmentation of the red. And it was interesting, the conversation that they were having between the chef and the seed breeder was truly, we don't breed for flavor. Absolutely not. We breed 
for yield efficiency yep. and yep. all that. And it was like, oh my gosh, this is a huge gap. No, this is why. Huge gap. This is why that when people go, I don't like tomatoes. Well, hold on. Have you only ever eaten a tomato from the grocery store? Because yeah. they're they're red they're softballs. Garbage. They're terrible. <laughs> they're garbage. Right? Buy but one, buy one of our heirlooms and plant that. Different thing. Holy or just shit. grow a hybrid in your garden and eat it fresh from the vine. Well, that's the other thing, too. That's the other thing. People don't realize, not only does it, does it have to store well, has, yeah. um, how do we get it to market? Most tomatoes are shipped green because you think about it. How could you fill a semi-truck with red? Yeah, so they, they ship green and they gas them. They literally put them in a room. Oh. Like think, uh, they put them in a room this and they like gas them. This is like my GMO talk. Hundred <laughs> percent to turn them red, and that's what gets put on the show. This is why you hate tomatoes. Not because you hate tomatoes, because everything you've ever been offered is garbage. Yeah. Right. Your grandmother put those seeds in her pocket, and it was only one reason because they tasted good. Right. It's the only reason they saved them. They didn't care about storage. They didn't care. All they cared about is my family loves these tomatoes, and, and that's I'm what our great grandma exactly. And right. I'm going to keep. That's growing. what they brought with us. That's all, that's being lost by the minute. People not gardening, people not doing it. The seed bank is in Norway. It's it's okay. the Svolberg Global Seed well, Vault, those and they are did my, it on an those island are my in Norway. Ancestors, so. so there you go. Yeah. They figured it out. I'm Norwegian and Scandinavian. Oh, anyway, I'm a regular weird old Viking. Who knew? <laughs> Maybe that explains a lot of things. I don't know. Maybe that my school. My, well, so my my husband and I were watching shows because uh, that's his thing, and I'm trying to be better. Um, I hate television. So uh, he's like, yeah, you always want it. He, he likes those little silly 30 minute comedies and I just don't care. I, it's not that funny to me and it's a waste of my brain cells. So I truly was just like, he goes, you watch a lot of violent things. I was like, well, maybe that's my way of getting my aggression out. I just watch it on television and then I'm less stabby and homicidal. <laughs> it's fine. So that's my theory on that. That's how Easter works. Yeah, I, was I like, watch we all your little rugrats in the yard, and I don't have to have any rugrats. <laughs> oh, isn't that true? Um, yeah, but you love your little granddaughter. Oh you my do God. anything. Yes, I would. Do, you do anything. It, it helps that there's only one of them. Uh, yeah. And we say in my house, grandbabies are so much fun. We should have had them first. Yep. Everybody it matter. That, they hoot. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> Go home that. now. You're grumpy. Okay, Go bye. away. Bye now. I fed you full of sugar. No, That's mom right. Can deal with you. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. So, what I would. My homework for everybody, because I always like to oh, add end with homework. I think that it would be good if everybody who's listening tries a new dish for your Easter meal. And whether it's, uh, you know, and, and try to do something with a vegetable. And the things that are going to be in season in April are carrots. Um, you're not quite going to have artichokes yet. You got tons of asparagus. You have all your greens, spinaches. All your the, greens. Yep, all the greens will be. You're getting into April. strawberry peas. season. It'll be snap. It'll be snap peas. Yeah, and then the you'll peas. be into strawberry season. For sure. Well, a little, April's a little early for strawberries. Almost. At least around here. Around here, but you're still gonna be able to pick no, pretty true. good fresh ones. True. I've I picked up some yesterday that were just like, ooh, these were. Perfect. Are we out of time? Are, are you're, we are. You're wrapping we're up. About, okay. We're about wrapped. Okay. Do you got something? No, I was just gonna ask her if 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 you have a specific Easter meal. Like, is there a dish or a something that's standard for you or house not really no, did not really um celebrate easter with food it was more oh, just, the, just going out and being out in the wind with the little pinwheels and the easter egg hunts and the cute little clothes because i also feel like it's a middle of the day <laughs> thing like it for is. me easter is not a dinner i guess unless you do the event and then go home so that's why i'm questioning whether because you know what i mean thanksgiving you have a set menu right yes. and, and, and christmas i feel like you have a set menu you can change a little something but it's that's what you look forward to yeah you know? I, I, does easter have that do you have a specific no sometimes jelly it's jelly beans <laughs> right or peeps i was thinking peeps oh i hate peeps <laughs> i just want to light them on fire all the time <laughs> oh Sorry, I think Jennifer doesn't like. I think we can start. Get him out. Get him off your chest, though. It's good. It's it's good. <laughs> like it's styrofoam spray painted uh, with glitter. Like, yeah. and True. somebody is thrilled about it. Oh, <laughs> it's great. I like like gummy carrots. Like I like. You're so I, weird. I am very gummy odd. carrots. <laughs> She's buying the vomit jelly beans at the jelly bean store in Vegas. I can see this now. Like, nope, I want popcorn and steak. And... I love the popcorn oh. jelly beans. <laughs> Jelly bean is fire. Tune in next week for candy that shouldn't be candy and Jennifer Moss. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, okay, I like it. gummy anything. Gummy right. is my favorite. It's a good, so, good text. But now I need grass-fed gelatin gummies, which try to find that 
in southern harder. Idaho is a little more challenging. It's fine. eBay. <laughs> Ew. No, not that one either. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. All right. So I inspire you to go out and find something that's not Easter. Put some color out, whatever that looks like, whether it's cut flowers or plants out in the garden or a centerpiece on the table and do something a little bit different with your Easter. And then bottom line, enjoy your family or drink to tolerate them. And Whatever the case might apply. <laughs> don't forget to like, hit subscribe, share yep. with your friends, and comment on the links. Perfect. And thank you very much for listening, watching, whatever may be your fancy. And our next episode, we are going to talk about vegetables and how to plant vegetables, uh, what to do in southern Idaho. And it is time to start thinking about what you want to uh, reap and sow in your harvest. Mm -hmm. With that, please go life, live life in uh, full color because plain is pretty boring. Thanks, guys. Bye.